Well, recently I scored another Ertl Thomas & Friends item on eBay. This time it's this Wellsworth Station Carry Along playset. And I didn't even know this existed until my audience told me about it. And I actually managed to snag this for what I thought was a really good deal. But let's go ahead and get into the review. Before I get everything out, I wanted to show a few things on the box. To start with, we got the Shine Time Station logo along with the artwork, which is in the background. There's the playset along with some other information, which is uh, all around the box as well. You can see here this uh, folds into a carrying case. But on the side of the box here, there's some information right there. And going around to the back, this is what I find the most impressive, is they show the playset and what's all included with it. You can see it opens to be a 38 inch by 15 and a half inch play surface. Uh, these are some of what the set has to offer. And going down to the bottom of the box here, we actually got a list of the other characters which you could get from Ertl at the time. And if I turn this over to the bottom of the box here, I am seeing a uh, licensing for 1993 so that may be when the set came out uh, not 100 percent sure of interest i do notice on the side of the box here there's actually this price tag for toys r us and apparently at the time this set was 24.99 from there all right gonna go ahead and get everything out of the box and i believe all the pieces were included with this which is part of why i decided to snatch it up well, that and the price, but we'll talk about that here a little bit later. And I think at the moment it's upside down. There's nothing else in the box. Still got it backwards, there we go. And, okay, it's apparently held shut with Velcro. And there is the playset. A little bit of assembly needs done. So here's everything set up. And like I mentioned earlier, it looked like all the pieces were included with this, which sure enough, everything's here. And I'm thinking there may have been some paperwork with this and possibly a sticker sheet. However, the stickers are already applied, and as for the paperwork, probably just assembly instructions, which, let's be honest, nobody reads those. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what all came in this playset. The first thing we'll look at in this set are the three buildings that come with it, and you get Wellsworth Station as well as two houses, and these have removable roofs, so if you wanted to, you could use them for storage, uh, put your engines in there, or maybe other pieces from this playset. But while the roofs are removable on these buildings, the buildings themselves are affixed to the playset. They're part of this big plastic piece here, so uh, basically where they are is where they're gonna stay. I am a little disappointed. It looks like there was some uh, sloppy work here applying the stickers. They're kind of all over the place in spots. And even along uh, this wall here, you can see the sticker wasn't really put on that well. But I do like the landscape we have here. You can see how it looks. And if I just turn the camera around here, you can see uh, how the landscape is on the other side of the play set. And that is really nice in my opinion. But along with the buildings, we also get two signs in the play set. The first being the Herald's Heliport sign. And you can see this is next to what's supposed to be Herald's Heliport. And if I just go over to the other side of the playset here, this is the other sign. It's a Toby's Tunnel sign for uh, Toby's Tunnel, which is right here. And there's more of a story to this, but I'll get back to that in a minute. And lastly, you also get three boom gates. However, these are not functional. They're just one solid piece. So uh, that possibly limits the uh, play value of these. But it is nice to see them included in this set nonetheless. So here I have two Toby's Tunnels. Now this is the one which came in this playset. And this one here I acquired earlier on. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet or not. But I acquired a couple bundles of Ertles this year on eBay. And one of those bundles this was included with it. And I remember I had no idea what this was at first. I didn't even think it was a 
Thomas and Friends item or much less a piece of Ertl stock because there's no markings anywhere on this. And it wasn't until that video aired that I uh, had a few of my viewers comment and saying, oh, this is a tunnel from the Wellsworth Station playset and they call it Toby's Tunnel. And a little search on Google revealed that, yep, that's what it was. And I was a little curious on this entire playset. Uh, never thought I'd acquire one this quick, but it is nice to have, you know, the complete playset that goes with this tunnel, plus the sign that's meant to go along with it. And I do want to thank those that left a comment and told me that this was a piece for this playset. Uh, it's one of those rare cases where the comment section actually works on YouTube. All right, I'll admit I wanted to have a bit of a play, so I went and got some of my Ertl characters. Uh, didn't really get all the ones I wanted just because everything's packed away right now and a little hard to get to. But you can see how the playset looks once you add some characters to it. And I like that we have some key locations like Harold Teleport for Harold. And then of course we got Toby's Tunnel for Toby. But the thing I find a bit funny about this is look at the clearance. Toby just barely fits through the tunnel. Uh, yeah, that is really cutting it close. And, I mean, why Toby's Tunnel of all choices? Personally, if I had it my way, I'd say give Henry back his tunnel. Another thing that kind of bothers me is that I noticed when you're running a train through Wellsworth, the rolling stock doesn't really want to track behind the engine and has a tendency to catch on things as well. But I don't know, maybe that's just one of my adult nitpicks and it's really not a concern to a child that'll be playing with this. I do like the tracks on top of the tunnel, although these windows down below make it look kind of like a house and that's just odd to me. But the addition of the turntable is nice, even though it's just a sticker, it's still an added play feature. And being this piece also has elevation, it gives you the option to race your trains down it and maybe have a few accidents. Poor Birdie just got T-boned. In all honesty, I really do like this playset. I mean, it is a bit simplified, but sometimes simple is a good thing. And considering all the track we have on the play mat here and all the other pieces and accessories which are included, the play value is definitely there. And I mean, once you add other pieces that you may have in your Earl collection, that just elevates it that much more. But I'm really glad that I managed to find one of these play sets, especially considering that I only paid $10 for this in auction and the fact that all the pieces were included and it even came with its box. But uh, again, just a big thank you to uh, my viewers out there who let me know what uh, this Toby's Tunnel piece was from. Uh, if I'd never known that, I probably wouldn't have even considered trying to get this play set. Well, final thoughts, and as I'm sure you already can tell, I really do like this play set. There's a lot of good things about this, the play value on it's good, and I would honestly recommend this to anyone who's into the Ertl Thompson Friends range, or they're a genuine Ertl collector, this is definitely a play set you need to consider adding to your collection. Now, you do have to shop around though, because like I mentioned before, I picked this up for $10 in auction, which I felt was a really good deal, considering that it was in good condition, came with all the accessories, and even the box for that matter. And I've seen some people on eBay have this listed at a buy it now for $25 to $30, which I don't think that's bad either, but, you know, I'd check to make sure all the accessories are included with it. And, I mean, I'll be honest, I've seen some people, they've got these listed for anywhere from $50 to $60. I've seen a couple upwards of $100. And really, I think that is way overpriced. I would not be paying anywhere near $50 for one of these unless it was sealed in the box and the box was in good condition. A lot of price gouging going on with the Ertl Thomas and Friends stuff that I've seen. And especially these people who insist on using words like rare and hard to find. It's like, I honestly like to sit down with these people and tell them. It's like, Thomas isn't rare, Percy isn't rare, Toby isn't rare, etc. It's... Um, I'm starting to rant, so I'm just going to end on a positive note here. Like I mentioned before, this is a set that I would highly recommend if you're an Ertl collector. I think it's well worth getting. And you guys can feel free and let me know your thoughts on this set in the comments down below. And even the Ertl Thompson Friends range in general if you want to uh, leave a comment about what you think of that as well. But anyways, that's going to be it for this review. Again, uh, 
Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below, and I will catch you in the next video. Ah, uh, yes. Just when I think all my fan mail unboxings are done for the year, another package gets dropped off at my door. So, that being the case, I will see you guys this Friday with another fan mail unboxing.